And so, guys, as we look, the common thing in this room is what? Men. We are men. And as men, we are called to lead. We are called to walk forward. We're called to lead our households. We're called to lead our wives. Give them something to surrender to. Right? We are called to walk out and take the territory that God has taken us. But we can't do it alone. 59 times in the New Testament, Jesus, as he walked through this, what did he tell us? To break bread with one another, live life with one another, pray with one another. All the things that he did was all about us doing it together. So we cannot do this alone, guys. This is why we are here. We are here to get authentic. We're here to get real with each other and lift up Lord Jesus as we come together for Good Friday service because he is so good, isn't he? Praise the Lord if you're going to give him praise. He is so good. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. I mean, what a week. When you think of Palm Sunday, it was just Sunday. And when he walked in, everyone's screaming, Hosanna, help us, Hosanna to the highest. To walk through last night as Judas betrayed him. As they came to get him, the disciples couldn't even stay awake, sleeping on the job. One job. And they were sleeping. Judas betrays him. This morning, Peter denies him. And John is the only one of his disciples that stand next to Mary to watch him bear it all for us. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I sat there and thought, I think to myself, would I be so willing to give up my son for my neighborhood or my community? What I give him for that. But what did Jesus model for us through this? He modeled someone that was beautifully and perfectly made, that knew his Father's will. He knew why he was sent. God, as holy as he is, knew that he had to send a spotless lamb to be sacrificed for our sins so we could walk with eternity, so he could be the doorway. What did he do as he got beat? Did he stand up and say, this is who I am? Did he take offense and stand up and slam down and say this? No. He did it in meekness. He took it all. Didn't stand up and, and tell anybody what it was, who he was. He took it all. So why is Good Friday so good, men? Why is Good Friday so good? Let me hear from you. Why is Good Friday so good? Because Resurrection Sunday's coming. What else? Why is Good Friday so good? Anybody? He paid the price. He paid it for us. If you think how good our God is, He waited 2,000 years. 2,000 years after the completion of sin as He was placed us in a garden. Made us a holy place. And we turn to wait 2,000 years to send his only son to pay the price and walk it all the way out in meekness and humility. Because in our humility, he's made strong to bear everything and stand up there and in not that he didn't feel it. Lord, do I have to? Is this the only way? But he kept his eyes on his father. He knew what he was doing and he bared it all. Why is Good Friday so good for me? Because God sent the, his perfect will, the will of the living Lord Jesus to die on the cross, to bear it all for us so we could receive the gift, the living breath of God, the Holy Spirit that we can walk out this life in freedom and in power and in glory and in all things bow down to him and know that he has done it all there is nothing we have to do we don't have to clean ourselves up and come to him he says come to me run to the father and he will do it all through you so we praise you lord jesus as we walk in and set the tone for this this morning lord i thank you for who you are jesus i thank you for what you've done jesus Jesus, 
You are our one thing. You are our one thing. You are the only thing. You are the way. You are the truth. You are the light. Lord, you did it. You did it all. And I praise you, Lord, that you have given your testimony to place in our hearts and given us a helper, your living will, to walk it out with you, Lord. To bear your testimony, you use wrecks like us to live your testimony out right here in this day. So we praise you, Lord, as we set our altar this morning and lift our hands up to the heavens. We give it to you, Lord, and we ask for an outpouring of your spirit to come down on us today. And as you pour down into us the overflow as we keep our hands up as a surrender to you and all that you did for us, every ounce of your glory that outflows of my hands is flowed out to the people that we see. May your face be seen. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We praise you, Lord Jesus, and we thank you. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. All right. Woo! Hallelujah! Praise you, Lord. Let's get ready to worship. Mm.